I'm Karen, and I'm a yarn addict. This is my channel, and I am Karen, and I am a yarn addict. On my channel, we talk about yarn, and we talk about crochet, and we talk about every other thing we might want to talk about. I've got something to show y'all today, but before I do that, and before I forget about it and don't mention it, I've got some new subscribers, and thank y'all all for being here. Y'all just don't know how much y'all mean to me, each and every one of you. Y'all, my ones that have been here forever, and my new ones, and my in-between. <laughs> I appreciate all of y'all so much. I truly, truly do. Um, I was talking. Well, I talked about that in my last video. <laughs> my mind goes, y'all. That's just something. Whew, I don't know what's going to happen when I get really, really old if I make it. <laughs> I guess we'll just pray the Lord watches over me and keeps me sane enough to not forget my own name. Uh, what I was thinking about was talking about the giveaways, whether y'all like the big ones or small ones. So if y'all didn't let me know down in the last video, y'all leave a comment down below and tell me, do you would you rather me do a giveaway that had like enough yarn to make one project? Or would you rather me do a giveaway that had a box of all kinds of yarn? I mean, I like to, in my giveaways at least, try to give you enough of one kind to, you know, to make a project. I just don't want to stick a ball of every other kind in there. But uh, I asked that last video, and I'll like, ask it again for those of y'all that didn't see it. But y'all leave me a comment down below. And let me know about that if you haven't already. I'm behind on my comments, y'all. I don't know what I've been doing. There's a mouse in my house. <laughs> I had a couple of mice back before Christmas on, like before Thanksgiving, I guess it was. And because we live, if those of you that don't know, we live out in the country. And we have pastures all around our house. So when it starts getting cold weather, the little mice decide they want to come in and get warm in the house. I don't put up the little mice in my house. I don't. So I had caught, not caught, or killed. I'm sorry, y'all, that don't think killing mice is good. I, I don't know any other way to do it because if you catch them, and turn them out, they're going to come right back in the house. So, I put some traps out before Thanksgiving, and I killed two, I believe it was. Might have been three. I don't remember. Well, I put some traps out last night, and I killed two. One year. Oh, Mr. Knott had just, it was one of the years I'd had surgery, and I couldn't do anything, and he just let it go, and I don't know how many mice we had in this house. It was overrun with mice. Had to take all of my kitchen apart and clean out the cabinets when I got to do it a little better and get rid of them because they will. They'll just come in the house. Everything comes in my house around here. Mm. You would think that it was, I don't know how you... The house was built back in 72, so, and it's been kept up. We hadn't been living here, but about, uh, we bought it in 08, I believe. So, you know, we maintained it, and it was maintained, really, you know, it wasn't upgraded, but it had been maintained and taken care of anything that needed it. And then when we moved here, I did a little, I had some painting done, and, uh, that's about it. <laughs> so, but anyway, I got to get rid of these mice. I can't stand them. Mice, roaches, and there was a little snake one day in my back, the bathroom that's right at my bedroom, the master bath. Mm -mm, it was a little old bitty 
not that long, but itty bitty thin snake. I got uh, one of my sons came and killed it. If y'all didn't hear that story, it was terrible. Ugh. I decided, we had decided after checking around, the air conditioning vent has a, we are not using that AC big, it wasn't just AC, it was heat and AC, but it had been put in back in the 70s, and we just hadn't replaced it. It quit just a year or so ago, but it had a big hole where anything can get in and get in the vents of the house. So, that was what we decided. The little snake must have just decided to come in. <laughs> I don't like anything that's not supposed to. Mr. Nod and myself are supposed to be here all the time, and my children and friends can come in and out, but mice, roaches, and snakes, and any other little creepy crawlers are not my friends and not allowed in my house. <laughs> so, I'm in the process of keeping some traps set out to get rid of the mice. But I got, I was so thrilled. Um, the first Our Gifts of Love raffle that was done for Sharon, Sharon's Crochet Corner, Trisha, Mama Swift, did it, and I won a prize in it. I've never, never won anything. Let me get this up here. But Wanda White had donated a set of crochet hooks, clover. They're all in there. They just kind of got shook around there. But it's a set of clover. I love clover hooks. Love them, love them. Set of clover hooks. And the ultimate crochet Bible. I love this thing. I've been flipping through it since I got it. <laughs> I just love it. I always can find, I've got a couple of books that are just, it's kind of like this, but every one I've ever looked at has different and new and, you know, all kind of neat, wonderful things in it. Well, she sent this and not only did she send me that, of course she sent me a little card and told me congratulations on winning this gift and hoped I enjoyed it. Look, it's the little llamas. It's two little llamas. Aren't they so cute? Um, but she sent me a notepad that has crochet notes and projects and it had a pen to match in it. Oh, that's so pretty. And she sent me I didn't get these out. These look like little amazing scissors. Let's see if it's y'all just excuse me I'm opening up <laughs> things. This is why I Try to open things up before I come on camera, and I always do, and y'all might not like that, but if someone has sent me something, y'all don't want to see me cry, so, <laughs> and I just always, I never know when I'm going to be able to get on, so if I get some yarn, I open it up, and because I forget what I order, so I open it up, see what it is, but these are the cutest little scissors, little sharp scissors and and <laughs> these let me take these out too these are the most beautiful stitch markers y'all look at these I hope y'all can they're all alike but look at them aren't they so pretty gorgeous Wanda, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you if you're watching. I appreciate this so much. The package got lost, and she told me she'd send me something else, and I certainly hope that she didn't go out and buy this again. I sent her a message, and I hadn't heard from her yet, but I thought I was going to come on here, and so I'd go on and show everything. And, um... Uh, 
like I said, she told me she was going to, you know, send me something else. And I told her no, to just wait, that the package would probably turn up. So I'm hoping that this is the original package and not something she had to go out and get. I hope it's what she first intended on sending me. And I also got a new card today. I just came on here to talk to y'all. I really, it's the last day of the year, and I didn't want it to go by without talking to y'all. But I got this card from Cynthia May. Cynthia's got a channel. Look at that, how pretty it is. I love that, Cynthia. I love all my cards that people sent me this year, y'all. Warm thoughts and best wishes for a joyful Christmas season. Thank you, hon. I appreciate that so much. Uh, I guess got in with <laughs> Boo Coodles a little packages today because I got bought myself pom-pom maker. I just didn't ever have any pom-pom makers. And I bought me a whole bag of pom-poms. <laughs> I'm going to be making the hats for Hat Not Hate and all these hats that I've made for uh, the grandkids. And Well, I can't find the... Whoop! That one didn't have the little... I'm one that's got the little, see, they're supposed to have the little where you tie them onto a button. I don't know if y'all can even see that. This is a spotted pom-pom. Isn't that cute? I've got all colors. I've got black and burgundy. They've got these little things in here, but they're just hiding down here at the you got to find them, that's for sure. Burgundies, I don't know if y'all see that. That's pretty. And they got several different blues. I know y'all are thrilled about pom-poms, but these came from Amazon. Let's see if we show you. They say you can take a dryer to them. Real pretty blues. They are. Well... They've just got all kind of little colors, and I just decided to go ahead and buy me a bag of pom-poms. Checking to see what time it is. If y'all hear some noise in the background, Mr. Knott's on his phone listening to some kind of auction. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Let me show you right quick. Still working on my big ball of Burnett Plentiful yarn. I'm making a little bit of headway there, y'all. That's really pretty. I mean, this is beautiful yarn, and it's working up great, but it's so hard to work with. It ain't got any easier, but I'm I'm moving along with it, so not going real fast, but I hadn't worked very, did, I haven't had a much time to fool with it, but I did get some more rows done. Oh, yeah, 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 let me show y'all right quick before I let y'all go. I was real late on buying my Christmas ornament, and I finally got one. <laughs> I hope y'all can see this. It's Santa with his bag, and he's got a mask on. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? I just had to had to get that this year with Santa and a mask. So I saw that and said. That's it. That's what I'm going to get. So, I just had little packages coming in from everywhere. But, um, if y'all hadn't joined my Facebook group, please, could, those of you that have Facebook, I know a lot of you don't. I know people, you know, a lot of people don't get on Facebook, Instagram, and all like that. But I do have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They're all linked below. 
And those of you that hadn't joined my Facebook group, please come on over and join and you can post the things that you're making. And I love, love, love to see everything that y'all are doing. Uh, y'all get to see my stuff, so I'd love to see your stuff. And like I said, I do have Instagram and they're all linked below. And I'll, I don't post a lot, but I do the things when I get finished with them. I do try to post most of my stuff that I do. And after today, I'll take down my lights and my Merry Christmas, and it'll all be gone away. So, But I'll be seeing y'all in a few days. It won't be long. If I don't come back on over the weekend, I'll be here Monday. I know for sure at my live at 6.30 Eastern Time Monday night. But I know a lot of people don't come to lives. And I know that's when a lot of people are eating. But that time slot just seemed to work out the best for me. So I just hope y'all can come when you can. That's all I asked. <laughs> and I understand, if, you know, a lot of people don't come to lives. And I understand, you know, I, I get it. But if you can, y'all please come. But uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel over there, I don't know if you can see the whole pillar and it's kind of wonky if <laughs> you've been that way, I guess. I never have straightened it out. But if you hadn't subscribed, please do and hit the notification bell beside it. I'd love to have you. I love having all yarn addicts out there. I love y'all and we'll just look at yarn and talk about yarn and do everything. I've got a bunch of plans in my head to do some things next year, but I won't tell you because if I tell it, I won't ever get it done. <laughs> so I'll just uh, see if I can work on those things myself and we'll have some fun hopefully coming up in this new year. But I think I've told y'all everything I need to tell you, except for the most important thing. You got to each and every one of you. Please keep coming back because I'm going to be here and I love you all.